students in this video we are going to see problem based on continuous time fourier transform so the problem is this obtain fourier transform of x of t equal to e raised to minus a t u of t where a is greater than 0. So by using the definition of a Fourier transform we need to find out Fourier transform of x of t and we will plot a magnitude and phase plot of this. So by definition of Fourier transform x of j omega is given as integral minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt since u of t is there so for our case the limits of integral will be from 0 to infinity and x of t we are having e raised to minus a t u of t is having a value 1 into e raised to minus j omega t dt so further simplification will give us x of j omega as integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus t i have taken common inside bracket i will get a plus j omega into dt so integration of this is e raised to minus t a plus j omega upon minus in bracket a plus j omega and the limits will be 0 to infinity so let's apply the limits now before that let's take a constant outside and if you apply the limit over here you will have e raised to minus infinity minus e raised to 0 so once we have done this what we will get minus 1 upon a plus j omega e raised to minus infinity is 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 so what we'll get we will get x of j omega as 1 upon a plus j omega since this x of j omega is a complex number so we will have two parts in it a magnitude and a phase so the magnitude will be mod x of j omega and that is nothing but 1 upon root a square plus omega square and phase one is having an angle zero this is having an angle tan inverse imaginary upon real so in the end the phase angle of this will be minus tan inverse omega by a so this is a magnitude And this is the phase. Since this magnitude on phase depends upon the value of omega, let's plot it. 
So first magnitude plot. mod x of j omega let's do it by trial and error suppose i'm having a uh, omega as zero so i will get this as one by a so number here i will get 1 by a for omega 0. Now I'm having omega in terms of a. For example, if I have omega as a, some number which is same as this, so I will get this equal to root 2 a by 2. Or I can say if I have this same, I will get 1 by root 2 a. So if I have uh, omega as a, I will get the magnitude as 1 upon root of a square plus a square which is 1 upon root 2a square whose value will be 1 by root 2a. And if I keep on plotting, I will get a characteristic like this so here for minus a and for plus a same value will be obtained which is nothing but 1 by root 2 a so this is 1 by root 2 a and for different different values Omega in terms of A will get a characteristic like this. You can verify this. So it's a magnitude plot we are having. Let's go for a phase plot. So this is angle of x of j omega. Once again, we'll check with respect to some constant values. For example, if I have omega is 0, it is 10 was 0, which is 0. Then suppose I'm having omega as number a and minus a, we'll find out what value it will have. So whenever I have omega as a, I'll get minus tan inverse 1 which is minus 5 by 4 so somewhere here I will have a minus 5 by 4 and for omega equal to minus a we'll get tan inverse of 1 which is 5 by 4 If I have omega as infinite, I will get minus tan inverse infinite which is minus pi by 2. Similarly, if I have omega as minus infinity, I will get tan inverse infinity which is pi by 2. So, we can say there is a pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 which can be obtained for omega equal to infinity. So, maybe somewhere here. We can consider a line representing a pi by 2 and this is a line representing minus pi by 2. So we will get a phase plot like this. It will have the value pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 for minus infinity and infinity values of omega. What conclusion we can draw from here is magnitude plot is symmetric about a y axis, so I can say it's a even function 
whereas phase plot is passing through origin and it is exists in the opposite quadrant so phase plot is always a odd function so here is the end of problem number one thank you